Hi everybody, this is Sudhansu. Uh, this is my second video here. Uh, in my previous one, I've created a database and created a uh, edit framework model from database. In this video, I'm going to show you. I'll be continuing with the same project or database. Uh, I'll be adding an SP to database model and uh, updating existing SP and updating existing table and checking your changes. You can uh, find me in Twitter, Facebook or Google Plus using the following links. Let's get started. As I described uh, in my uh, database, uh, there are two tables. The same is in model, in EDMX model. And uh, my class files are generated in a separate project a uh, separate class library project uh, this is a, a mod uh, product.cs and category.cs now i'll be creating a store procedure and will be adding the same in the model Say we asked to procedure or doesn't have any parameter or or you can uh, keep the parameter as as it is. Um, Let's keep our store procedure for sim uh, simple for our demo. I have, uh, uh, have only single single select line in, uh, in my store procedure, but you can have a uh, uh, complex line or complex uh, uh, codes in your SP if you are developing a very complex application. Updating the SP, updating the database. Now you can see the SP is there, but uh, the SP is not in the model. In order to add the SP, you need to update model from database. Since the SP is not there in the model, we need to first add that SP to procedure. Get update products. Finish. And the SP is SP got added, but it's not visible in the uh, model browser. Usually, the SP will never be visible in the LDMX model, though you can view it in model browser. Open model browser, and it will be there will be two sections in model browser. One is uh, one contains the uh, database structure. Here, you can view your store procedure, and other contains the function import that maps the uh, maps a function corresponding to the store procedure you can edit store procedure to set uh, set the return type easily we can have uh, this kind of return type uh, the first is unknown uh, uh, it says uh, our store procedure doesn't return any value or it can be a scalar a list of scalar uh, like list of boolean list of integer list of integer or list of string or it could be a complex type uh, the properties are returned uh, from the store procedure may not match with any of these uh, it would be a separate class or it would be a separate uh, it would be entities uh, like product let's continue the complex type we can view the uh, return information from the store procedure here is returning ID make and model so we can uh, now continue with product or we can continue with the complex type let's continue with the entities product you 
can also view uh, the generated complex type uh, here in uh, complex type same in the module browser window and it will have the same id make and model property let's uh, make and change to the make some changes to the same sp uh, for changing sp we will have uh, these uh, three different contexts like change in sp body without any change in signature when i mean signature signature is uh, input parameter and output value uh, say I'm uh, making the uh, making changes the same SP uh, I have that SP open uh, here instead of selecting uh, top 10 product say I'm, I'm adding an extra condition where ID less than Paramount. Not making any changes to the uh, input parameter or not making changes to the output return type. I'm updating the SP, update database. SP is updated. In this case, uh, we don't need to make any changes to the model as. Uh, in in case of in database model the sp signature is noted so uh, there is no change uh, no change will be reflected in model edms now come to the sec second part change in signature uh, in change in signature we can add a new parameter We can add a new parameter and or we can uh, make a, a new column or make a new return type say uh, I am returning make plus model as make model as a separate column database in this case we will have to update the model as well we have changed the input signature and output that we, we have a separate uh, new column that's written from the store procedure saving the previous changes updating model from database refresh selecting the same sp in case of refresh, uh, all the DB changes will be reflected in the SP, no matter uh, we choose uh, which subset. That I will show in uh, next next step once I update this. Get up in. It's updated. We can see see the updated definition. We have now three parameters, and in function import, let's edit it. Uh, previously we mapped, uh, mapped the output to entity product as we have the same definition as entity product but in when we see we'll have a new column make model but we don't have any uh, column in make mod make as make model in product we can uh, see that in solution explorer in this case we we can use our uh, existing com uh, complex type and uh, when I click update, it will update the existing complex type with the new column. Uh, here it shows add as this new this column is added, all other columns remain the same. We can also view the updated complex def, uh, mod, complex type definition here. New column make model is make model got added. Next is multiple result set. Mul uh, as of now, multiple result set is not supported uh, in entity framework. We have to uh, uh, do 
you have to continue with the old uh, old edu.net if if i am selecting same uh, query or twice or uh, i am having another query say select top 10 description from category in the same sp now there are two select statement in the same sp uh, but uh, even if we update we will uh, we'll get the result only for the first select query the second select query will be ignored let's update update database database got updated this time we make the changes in SP body so we don't need to update the model. Let's uh, go to the model and uh, check the entity frame uh, function import return. We are getting only the past column information as a column information that's from the first select query id make model and make model. Now let's uh, make some changes in the table. Before making some changes in the table, uh, as uh, this project is not uh, say uh, committed to any uh, source control management, I'm saving the EDMX. Resting here as a local copy, so that I'll be able to deep. Let's make an alter command. Alter. Keep it simple price as flow in null. I'll to table this. Hmm. Uh, simultaneously, I'll update the other table to alter table category. Add uh, new column. Like that is active. My mistake. Okay. Good access to successfully let's check our columns we have uh, the newly added column is active and in product we have a new column price let's uh, update the uh, model here I'm trying to update uh, my product column. I don't want to update the is, uh, category uh, newly added column is active in category. I'm selecting product, but uh, due to some error in engine framework, it will uh, it will update both the tables. I'm selecting product and updated. Now save. Save the model. 
when uh, we are making any update in the model in order to reflect that in the in a class file let's check our class file class file doesn't have uh, the new newly added column in order to update that in our column we need to run custom tool as our, our tt file is in separate project we have added our uh, price here is uh, showing let's check the category column in category is active is also got added but uh, say we don't want uh, this category column in that case we will have to uh, def one uh, make keep our uh, changes for product and uh, discard the changes for category table if uh, your project is uh, using any source control management like SVN, Perforce or Git, you can uh, always check with your previous revision. Since uh, this is for demo purpose, is uh, not configured uh, with any source control management. I am uh, making the diff with the local coffee that I made uh, previously. You can see the dif uh, differences here. One is is active or uh, fries. Again, same is active and fries. And again, is active and fries. There are three sections in EDMX. Let's open with XML editor. Three sections are called uh, SSTL, CSTL, and CS mapping content. CSTL contains uh, SSTL contains uh, same as our uh, data database. Uh, CSTL is a conceptual model. That's uh, that's what we are viewing in our ADMX file. And CS mapping contains the mapping between the between these two. That's our uh, EDMX model and our database uh, data types. So uh, for a single change, there will be three three changes in the EDMX file. As you have seen, uh, starting from uh, here again, is active price in SSDL. Second, is active price. This is in CSDL. The last one is active price in CS mapping content. But if you are adding a new entity, we'll have one more changes that will be in the designer. That uh, that shows where this entity will be displayed in the uh, designer diagram. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, discard the changes of this category. I'm using Tortage SBN Mods tool for uh, making this diff, and uh, I'm making the changes in model.dmx. Let's uh, swap uh, with the file so that model.dmx will be in right side. I don't want is active column. I want only the price column so I made a report for the other column so now I have changes uh, three changes for the same column price price and price save Now, since our model is updated, we again have to run the custom tool in model.tt. Custom tool is updated. We have our price column. In category, we do not have our uh, is active column. That's all for now. Thank you.